In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to create a database in Firebase to store our data. We want to store our categories and our foods, main dishes, and to make queries because we want to search in the food. Now let's open Firebase. Make native Firebase. And let's open our Firebase console. Firebase console. Let's select our project, React right Native Dream. Let's press on build and select Firestore database. But first, what is the Firestore database? Firestore is a flexible, scalable, non SQL cloud database to store and sync the data. It keeps your data in sync across client apps through real time listeners. And it supports also offline support. I mean, when your device is, is offline or there is no networking, we can cache data. So now let's create a Firestore database. Let's press here. Let's press on create database. Let's start in test mode, not production mode. And let's press next. Let's press enable. Great, we have created our database. Now let's add some data. For example, let's start a collection of data. Let's call it food. Food, okay. And let's press next. The document I want, any document has an auto ID. We can type our IDs like one, two, three, or anything that we want. But I prefer to make the Firebase generate the ID for us. Let's press on auto ID to generate a dynamic ID. And let's enter our data. If we have a look at our image, we want here an image and title and rating and price. Image, title, rating and price. So let's enter them. The title, the food title, let's call it Super Dish. Super Dish. And let's add another field. It will be the price. The price is going to be a number and it will be 9 like that. Let's add another field, the rating. And the rating is going to be also a number. And it will be five stars. Finally, let's add the image URL. Image URL. And I'm going to use that image. Let's copy the URL of it and paste it here. So now let's have a look. We have here an image, title, rating, and price. Good. Now let's save our first dash. Let's press save. Okay. Now let's try to get that data in our React Native app. In that lesson, I'm gonna fetch that only that dash, but in the next lessons we're gonna fetch we're gonna fetch all the, those lists i'm gonna make a list of food and save them to firebase okay but in that lesson we're gonna fetch just a one dish okay so now let's try to fetch the data from our database using firestore using react native firestore now we're in the documentation let's go down to cloud firestore and let's press on usage here we need to install the app module and we have done that before so no need to this step but we need to install our firebase firestore here in our project let's add that package react native firebase firestore 
and let's install the bots. That's those bots for the iOS, okay? Now let's go down in the usage. Let's copy that code. Let's first import our Firestore. Then let's try to get our data. We're gonna create an async function, const get data equals to async function. And let's paste our code here, our code that we have copied from here, okay? And let's try, but first we need to rerun Android app. Yarn Android. Now our app is ready. Let's just log in. Now we are here in the home screen. Let's to make some changes on that code first. Let's add here a wait keyword and let's the change the name of the collection. The collection in our database called cold foods. So we need to copy that and paste it here instead of users. Okay. And let's add a get. Allow us to get our food and let's change that name to food collection. Food collection. Now let's log that collection. Console.log. The collection and see. Let's first call this function inside use effect. Get data. Because we initialized this function, but we didn't call it yet. So let's call it. Now let's try to log our data. We have here that complicated log. To make it simpler, just we need to, to pick the docs from that data. Those docs is the array that indicates to our, to our food. An array with one element. So to pick the, the one element of it, just indicate the index of zero. Let's press save. Now we got here some log, but we want to make it more simpler to, to parse it. So just add this, this method data like this. Now we got here our data. That's the image URL. That's the price. That's the rating, that's the title, super dish. Let's try to set the state on it. Const our or dish set dish equals to use state. And let's set state. Let's set dish to that to this here the first element of our response that we've got from the backend, I mean from the database, and let's press save. Now let's pick that dish and try to render it. For example, if we add a text here with dish dot price, now we have here the price. Let's add another text with dish dot Title, we have the title, the super dish. Let's add the image, image, source of it. It's going to be URI, dish dot, dish dot image URL. And let's add some styling. Height of 100, width of 100. Look what we get here. We get the data that we have stored in Firebase. Okay, so we wait for the next lesson so we can 
add a lot of data here, a lot of dishes. So render it in a list like that, like this list and also the categories. And also we're gonna learn how to add data and store it in the database from our code here using inputs and image pickers and rating and so on. So don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching with me for the next lessons.